Now, at Saturday night's Democratic debate, Martin O'Malley finished an answer about race relations and law enforcement by saying this. I have learned on a very daily basis that, yes, indeed, black lives matter. Now, he said it emphatically because he once said all lives matter, then chose to apologize, which caused Donald Trump, showing restraint, to call O'Malley, quote, a disgusting, little, weak, pathetic baby. But O'Malley is not alone, and I'm not talking about the baby part. Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton have been on the wrong end of criticism from such groups and have then actively sought to hear them out. But my point, and I do have one, is if black lives really mattered, why are some of these candidates not saying Iowa and New Hampshire should not have the power they do in the presidential nominating process? The United States, which they all hope to lead, is more than 13 percent black. New Hampshire is 1 percent, Iowa 3 percent. And speaking of people of color, Latinos make up more than 17 percent of America's population, yet only 3 percent of New Hampshire's and 5 of Iowa's. Now let me be clear, I love New Hampshire, I love the tradition, I'm sure I'd feel the same way about Iowa if I knew exactly where it was. But to give two small states, not terribly representative of all 50, the power they have is just not right. If black lives matter, if democracy matters, at some point, one principal candidate has to stand up and say what they all know to be true. But till then, see you February 9th in Manchester. So, too much power in two small states or not? Email us, tweet us, let us know.